Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkol Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a targeted lead list from LinkedIn and how to get email addresses of any LinkedIn profile by using SalesQL lead generation tool. So as you can see, I am signed in with my LinkedIn profile. And if I take you here on this spreadsheet, you can see I am looking for graphic designers from California and I need their name, LinkedIn profile and email address. So now let me show you how easily I am going to build this prospect list. So let me take you here on LinkedIn. After that, I'm going to make a search for, let's say graphic designer, and I'm going to click on this in people. And it is going to take us to this LinkedIn search result page. From where I'm going to click on this all filter button. After that, I'm going to get more filtering options. So now I'm going to select the first degree, second degree and third degree, or let's, let's ignore the first degree as of now. And after that, I'm going to select the location from here so i'm going to type out let's say california united states and after that we are going to go a little bit down and we're going to find this industry section so i'm going to select this one graphic design and design industry and then the profile language is going to be english and then service categories i'm going to select this one graphic design only or design as well all right, so these are the search filterings that I'd love to go with. Now, if I click on show results, you are going to see that we are going to get all of these results appearing here. So now I'm going to open up these first two results in new tabs, and I'm going to start collecting their email addresses. But before that, what do we have to do? We have to install our SalesQL lead generation tool. So I'm going to attach the link of this tool into the video description, the first link of this description so that you can easily access this website, right? So after visiting this website, simply you have to click here on learn and after that click on this install extension button right here. And it is going to take you here in this page. So if you are using Firefox or Microsoft Edge, you can install this extension directly from their app store. But as I am using Google Chrome, I have to install this plugin manually. And to do this, simply I have to click here and then it is going to take us to this page. So one information that you need to know, if you have used SalesQL before and if you have got their extension installed on your Google Chrome browser, then you have to remove it so that you'll be able to start using the new version. All right, so now let's go a little bit down and you are going to find download the extension. This is the first step that you have to do. So let me click on this download now button right here and it is going to start downloading this tool. And after that, we have to unpack the file. So now the tool has been downloaded. So let me take you to show in folder. And after that, we have to click here and then I'm going to extract the file. So I'm going to click on extract all and then let's click on extract. And we are going to see that one new folder has been appear appeared here. Now, if I take you back here, what do you have to do? We have to go to the extension manager from our Chrome browser to Follow this process, simply you have to click on here, as you can see extensions button here or option, simply click on it and then you have to click on this manage extensions. And after that, let's go back here. You have to activate your developer mode. So let's me, let me take you back to the extensions page. After that, we have to click on this developer mode enabled now just take a look we are seeing some of these options appeared so we have to work on this so let me take you back here on this page and let me show you load the unpacked folder and we are done so just take a look now i'm going to take you back here on the extensions page after that i'm going to click on this load unpacked and then just take a look this one we just unpacked after downloading this uh, folder now we are going to click on select folder and it is going to be just take a look. Thanks for installing SalesQL. And if you just notice, hi there, click on the icon to get started. So now what you have to do, we have to click here on this uh, extensions tab. And then we are going to see that we have got the SalesQL browser extension added to our Chrome browser. Now we are going to click on this pin button so that it will be easily accessible. Now we have to go for the next step and we are going to follow the steps from here. So let's click on this extension icon. After that, it is going to show us that we have to sign in using our social accounts. Either we can use our Google Gmail account or we can use our LinkedIn account. So I would love to go with, let's say my LinkedIn account for this purpose. So I'm going to click on LinkedIn. And after that, I have to provide my password here. 
and then I'm going to click on login and after that we have to click on this allow button right here so let me click on allow I'm going to cross this out okay and just take a look it is being loaded I'm going to cross this out as well and here we go we are signed in as you can see here I'm seeing this option go to my account if I click on it you are going to see we have got the interface appearing here and if you notice here we are going to see that we have got 100 free contacts to use but if you want if you find this tool helpful and really working for you you have few other options like they have got subscriptions as well which you can take from their website so now what I'd love to do I'd love to reload this page and after that I'm going to click on this icon just take a look after clicking on it I'm going to select this one and then or let's uncheck I'm going to click on this plus icon and it is going to search for the emails for this profile just take a look we have found few emails one is personal and two emails of uh, professional or work email so I'm going to copy all of these emails as of now so let me click on this copy icon and after that I'm going to take you back to this file and let's go back we are going to click again here and we are going to collect the work email from here copy and let's copy this email as well so if our client needs multiple email we have got these emails to to provide our clients right so this is a great tool as you have just seen like we are being able to find multiple emails of a person which is uh, the emails are associated in this uh, LinkedIn profile right so now it's time to collect more information like this person's name here then let's collect the um, LinkedIn profile URL from here just take a look we are done with the first profile now let me just show you how we can get the same details for this profile simply I have to click on this icon again and it is going to load the profile okay so it's loading the previous profile we didn't reload this page so we have to reload this page and after that just take a look at it showing us some results appearing like one now if I click on it it is going to show us let's click on this plus icon and we are going to see that we have got this personal um, email address and the business email address as well and along with these things we are seeing some other phone numbers also appearing here along with some more information exact location like Sacramento California United States right and uh, a whole lot of information appearing here so let me just go with collecting the personal email address let me take you back here I'm going to paste the email and after that we are going to go back here let's click on it and after that let's collect the business email as, as well one thing if the email address is not being uh, if the tool is not being able to verify the email address it is going to show you a mark like this but if the email is verified they are going to show you uh, this sign so this email is not 100% accurate or not uh, this email might not be 100% accurate email but they have shown this is most potential email for this person now let me click here again and we can collect their uh, this lady's phone numbers as well by simply clicking on it and if we want we can put these phone numbers here oh, okay so it's hidden no problem so we might have to upgrade our account to get the phone numbers no worries our goal was to collect only the email addresses so now we can simply collect the LinkedIn profile we have to collect the name of this person and I would love to show you uh, the information collection for one more contact so let's say this guy he mean something so we are going to open the profile and now if I if you just notice here we are seeing one is appearing here that means it's already collected this guy's email address now let's click on it and we are going to find this name is appearing simply click on this plus sign and it is going to search the email address and populate the information just take a look the personal email is appearing here and if you if your client needs the Twitter profile as well you can get the Twitter profile and other profile details as well and if you want the phone numbers you have to upgrade the uh, account so this is the process how what you have to follow to get email addresses of leads from LinkedIn right so I believe you will be able to build a lead list from any niche for your need and I believe you have found this tool and this video helpful if you did please give this video a like 
and share this video to help your friends and again i'm going to attach the link of this website or tools website into the first section of the video description so that you'll be able to access the website easily and uh, this will contain my sponsored url as well all right guys so thank you so much for watching and if you have got any question please feel free to ask me by commenting below and i have to see you in my next videos have a good day bye bye and one more thing i forgot to show you is let's just check out how many connects we have remaining here so if i click on this icon and after that if you click on your profile picture you are going to see that how many connects you have used just take a look we have spent three con connects already and we have collected more than three emails although we visited three profiles so it is counting only the profiles not the number of emails here all right guys so thank you so much again have a good day